Hello everyone, welcome to my channel again. Today we will discuss one problem that is known as find if there is a subarray with sum as 0 present or not. So first of all we will check what is subarray. Subarray means a subset of array in this given array that means 2 minus 1 5 this particular area also can be a subarray or 1 3 2 or 3 2 minus 1 5 4 these are all subarray of the main array and the whole array itself also you can say as a subarray of the main array okay but now we, what we have to check is if any particular subarray the total sum of their elements is 0 or not is there any subarray present here which will give me the result as 0 or not the summation result so here if you check from 3 to 6 index minus 1 5 4 and minus 8 is there and if you total add them then the sum will come as 0 that means in this array there is a subarray present where the sum is 0 now how to solve this problem how to detect this thing we will see next so to solve this problem first we can take a very simple approach or you can say a brute force approach so what we can do is we can find each and every subarray and their sum and then if we, we can check like if it is zero or not so for that purpose what we can do is we can take two for loop uh, then we can write a code like this so the outer for loop will maintain the shift of these indexes and when we are in zeroth index we will add 1 3 then 3 1 3 2 then 1 3 2 minus 1 and then each and every subset of array we will find and then if we ch can check that either that element is 0 or not or the sum in total is 0 or not then we will just simply print the start index and end index and then we can return as true so if you see here as two for loops are nested where it is running then this solution will take o n square of time to implement so now we have to check if we can implement any better approach or not. If we can uh, make this time downside towards when or not, that we will check next. Now we will talk about a better approach where we can save some time. So this is our original array. What we can do is we can take another array of same size. So here if you see, I take one blank array of same size. But in actual implementation, it will not be an array. Instead of that, it will be a hash set or a hash map. Why do you use that? We will see next. Okay. So as of now, just think it's kind of bucket or anything, or array, just a placeholder for understanding purpose. Okay. So here one blank array we take, which will have the same number of indexes. Okay. Now what we can do is we will take sum up to 0 then 1 and we will place it here so up to 0 the sum will be 1 then up to 1 it will be 4 up to 2 it will be 6 up to 3 it will be 5 then 10 then 14 then 6 10 13 and 19 you can verify this also so now from this particular array or has set what conclusion we can draw so the first thing is if while iterating we can find a particular element in the main array itself is zero that means we can send true or return true because that particular index is also a subarray and there we found zero that means we got our answer another possibility is while we were taking sum so here actually what is present sum from 1 then 1 2 3 then 1 2 2 then 1 2 minus 1 these are also a sub array there also if i get a sum as 0 means in this array also if sum of the sum is 0 or any one of the sum is 0 then also we can tell that this array contains a sub array which has sum as 0 but both of the cases are not meeting for our input so the third thing we have to check is if any sum in this particular array is repeating, that means obviously there is a subarray present here where the sum is 0. So here if we see 6 is repeated twice, okay, 6 is present here also as a sum and 6 is here also present as sum. That means definitely this original array has some subarray which has some 0. 
but now you will question why it is like that because see from 1 to 2 or sorry you can say from 0 to 2 if the sum is 6 and from 0 to 6 the sum is again 6 that means from 3 to 6 it will be 0 then only 6 plus 0 will be 6 again right so if you derive here sum till index 2 is 6 and sum till index 6 is also 6 that means sum from index 3 to 6 is 0 that's why 6 plus 0 is again 6 you can check it for any one suppose 4 is also repetitive then also it is true now the question is why when we write the program we have to check right this 6 is repetitive or not or 6 already contains in this array or not so for that particular case array will not be a good data structure because there we have to linearly search so instead of array we can use a hash set for that so there maybe in o one time if our hash function is good then in o one time we can retrieve this 6 means we can tell like 6 uh, contain this hash map or hash sorry hash set contains this 6 or not that we can tell easily in o one time so that's why in the previously i told like instead of array we have to take a hash set but if the problem will come in a variety like uh, there I have to tell that it contains 0 sub array but we have to return the indexes also index position like from 3 to 6 this one also we have to return then instead of hash set we can take a hash map actually to keep track of the indexes. So now when we will jump into the program these things will be more clear so let us jump into the programming section. So now we will start with the coding. So I have defined a class called subarray zero sum and in the main method I have defined one array this is the same array what I shown and in a part, this particular method like subarray sum zero I will write the method body and here if you see this is the brute force approach which I already have shown previously so this is also working but this solution will take one square of time so we will focus mainly on this method where actually we will so the technique which I have shown okay so to do this thing what we have to do is first I will define a variable called sum which will hold the sum value then I have to write one loop here okay so before that what I have to do is I have to define a set that will be a hash set of integer okay hash set and there I will take all the sum as set of integer. Now I will write a for loop here where I have to iterate from i equal to 0 to i less than equal to length of this array plus plus and here this sum equal to sum plus array of this ith position then three condition we have to check if you remember first thing we will check if this value itself is zero or not the current index we are traversing that itself is zero or not then we are done or else the current sum which we are calculating that is also zero or not okay and another thing is uh, so in the first iteration what you will do is whatever sum I am getting that I will add in the hash set okay as sum so in the next iteration I will check if this hash set contains this sum or not which I am calculating in this iteration okay if that is any of this condition is satisfying then I will return true that means this particular uh, array has a sub array which has sum as 0 and if I am not getting anything like that then I have to simply return false from the main method so now we will call this method from here and we can for printing a nice message what we can do is we can call this function with array 
and there we can print uh, sub array sum 0 is present ok and in the else part we can write is not present ok now we will run this problem so what it is showing is sub array sum 0 is present because we have a particular window from minus 1 5 minus 4 8 that is present so what I will do is instead of minus 8 I will do a slightly modification as minus 9 and then we will check again so this time also it is telling sub array sum 0 is present why it is because 5 4 minus 9 total it is 0 so that's why it is saying uh, sub array sum 0 is present so what we can do is we can change it to some other value 101 and check so this time it is saying sub array sum 0 is not present because there is no sub array here where the total sum is 0 so now this program is running but as I mentioned earlier that if we have to find the index and tell then instead of this hash set what we can do is we can create a hash map and then check so I will just place this program here and I will go through this ok so there is this is another variety of the same problem where actually sub array sum 0 with index we will tell it is actually same only so in, instead of a hash set I am taking a hash map sum is 0 then here I am checking what that whenever I am getting a match or match is found that time I am taking from the map the previous index so here if you see when I am putting into the map that time sum will be our key and i the current iteration will be our index so when suppose 6 was previously placed that time 6 was the sum and index was mentioned as 2 that's why when again I got 6 that time I am taking that particular key plus 1 that is 2 plus 1 3 and the end index will be my current index if you go through it you can easily understand this one ok just a slight variation of this particular program and there it will print the index also so if we change it to uh, minus 8 again the original array and then if we call this method ok so here actually uh, nothing to print here because inside the method only I am printing ok if you check inside the method only I am printing nothing I am returning so if we run it now you can check yeah summary with some 0 is present start index is 3 and end index is 6 and this is the output of the first program this one ok so that's it about this uh, problem and this uh, program link I will give in the description box and if you have any question just mention in the description box and if you check here the time complexity reduced to on thanks for watching